My name is Tamara Mickish. I'm 53 years old. Uh, I did suffer a heart attack. I uh, was rushed by ambulance to St. Clair Hospital through the emergency room. It was 11 o'clock. It was a Friday night. Um, I was getting ready to go to bed. I had gotten into bed, and as I was getting into bed, I felt um, something was wrong. Something just wasn't right, almost like a panic attack. Like I felt sweaty. I felt I could feel my heart beating. So I got up and, you know, got a glass of water, tried to calm down. Um, decided at that point that that's probably not what it was. When they took me into the emergency room, when they transferred me from the gurney from the, emer from the ambulance, um, I arrested, my heart stopped when they went to transfer me to the bed. I was called at home and we were told that uh, Tammy was having an, an acute heart attack. They shocked my heart and got my heart started pumping again and I needed to go to have a catheterization at that point. So when they took me to the um, cath lab, um, apparently my heart stopped again. We were able to move her onto the catheterization table where we continued CPR, uh, and many people participated in this, the nurses, the emergency room nurses, the nurses from the catheterization laboratory, the technicians, and the respiratory therapists all performed CPR on her. I, I, I could hear like a woman's voice telling me everything was, I was going to be okay, everything was going to be okay. I would like to note that when she did come over, she knew that she wasn't feeling well and that she was having pain, and she knew uh, she was very ill. And as we were moving her from the gurney to the cath table, when she developed the abnormal rhythm, she said to us, please don't let me die. It's a miracle that I'm here. Um, there's nothing to explain why I'm still here. And that he did decide to do the one to shock me one more time, and that's what worked. We had shocked her approximately 25 times and had not regained a rhythm on her. However, due to her young age, we kept attempting to restore her heart rhythm. Finally, after approximately 45 minutes of uh, mechanical CPR on, on Tammy, uh, we did shock her and she did come back to normal rhythm. I could feel being shocked. That was the last shock. My heart started to beat again. And um, I was alive at that point. I have never in all my life heard of someone to have had CPR for that long of a period of time um, and surviving, much alone surviving and still not having brain damage or any other damage. Like I'm fine just like I was before. I understand from my family and the staff while I was uh, in the CVSU, they did wrap my body in a cooling blanket, um, which was to uh, cool my body temperature to preserve my organs and to help with any brain damage. My overall experience at St. Clair Hospital has been wonderful. I felt that I got the best of care. Um, Dr. Marcucci and Dr. Kumar explained everything to me in terms that I could understand. Uh, they did very well with my family in explaining things and making sure my family was involved. Uh, the nurses, the nurses' aides that I had, um, were excellent. Uh, they took very good care of me. Um, any questions or concerns I had, they always had an answer for me. I'm very pleased with my stay at St. Clair Hospital.